Okay, and now we're going to be doing the 2022 AMC 10B. This is problem 17. It was also the 12B problem 15, and that makes it the last one of this rapid fire set for the 12B. One of the following numbers is not divisible by any prime number less than 10. That would be 2, 3, 5, and 7. Which is it? This is going to require number theory if you're going to do it efficiently. If you have not done intro to number theory yet, I will have a class starting probably in December. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do both number theory and probability or just one or the other and have it rotate like cycle through to become the other book. I'll determine that later. Send me an email if you're interested. Uh, let's go ahead and look at these. So the first thing would be we need to consider what the modulo residue is for each of these prime divisors. So for instance, we know that this two is not going to work for any of them. All, all of these are going to be an even plus one or minus one. That's going to be odd. So we don't have to worry about two. So what I want to do is examine powers of two, two to the first, two to the second, two to the third, two to the fourth, two to the fifth. And look at these. I get four, eight, 16 and 32. And I'm going to call it the modulo 3 residue as R3. And then I'll do modulo 5 residue as R5 and 7 residue as R7. So for divisibility by 3, this is going to be a remainder of 2. But again, once you learn number theory, you will know that 2 is, this is called congruent in number theory. It looks different than the geometry symbol. 2 is congruent to negative 1 mod 3. Just a quick review of what that means. This is two or 3 times 0 plus 2. That's what this one is. Whereas this one is 3 times negative 1 plus 2. Negative 3 plus 2, negative 1. We can see that these both have the same remainder when divided by 3. Even though it's negative, it still works. Um, you'll get a lot more comfortable with that if you start going through the Intro to Number Theory book, either on your own or with a teacher. So let's go ahead and look. This residue then is going to be negative 1, I want to call it. But this is 1 more than 3, so I'll call that 1. 1 less than 9, I'll call it negative 1. 1 more than 15, I'll call it positive 1. 1 less than, you can see it's alternating, right? So with that in mind, every even power is a 1. So an even power of 2 is going to have a modulo 3 residue of positive 1. So I would mod this out to 1. I would subtract 1 and get 0. 0 is a multiple of 3, specifically 3 times 0. That's not our answer because it's divisible by 3. Next, we'll do uh, this one here is not going to be divisible by 3, clearly, because it's 2 more than this one. So I don't have to worry about three. Let's look at five. My modulo five residue here is, I'm just going to call it two, but I'm going to call this negative one. I'm trying to get smaller numbers, a smaller absolute value of the number. So rather than use four, I'm going to use negative one. Eight is going to have a remainder of three, but I could also call it negative two. Again, it's 10 minus two. So that's why you're going to get there. And then 16 is going to have a remainder of 1 when you divide it by 5. Okay, so when we get to 32, we're back to 2 again, and we see this repeated cycle of four terms. 2, negative 1, negative 2, 1. It's going to repeat infinitely. So let's find the nearest multiple of 4 to 606. It would be 2 to the 604. That one is going to be congruent to the final value in your list of four terms. It's a sequence that repeats infinitely, so it's going to be congruent to 1 mod 5. Okay, but when I go to 2 to the 606, you're going to reset back to 2 and then negative 1, which means this is congruent to negative 1 plus that 1. Again, I get 0. This number is divisible by 5, so it is not our answer. Let's go to the next one, 2 to the 607 minus 1. Um, it's going to be a little bit difficult to tell how far apart these are, so let's go back to our, our modulo 3 residue for powers of 2. All the odd powers are negative 1. Therefore, this is negative 1 minus 1. That's negative 2. 
therefore it is not divisible by 3. Okay, because it wouldn't be negative 2, it would be 0 or 3 or negative 3, something like that. Let's check for 5. Um, again, 5 has a repeated cycle of 4. Again, we know that 2 to the 604 is 1 mod 5, this one. So we're going to count up uh, 605, 606, 607. So in modulo 5, the residue is negative 2 minus 1. That's not a multiple of 5, so this number is not divisible by 5. Let's go ahead and check for 7 what it would be. Now 2 is going to be a 2, remainder of 2, and divided by 7. This one, I could put 4. I can also put negative 3. I don't know what I want to do. I'll put negative 3. For the 8, I'm going to put 1. For the 4, this is 16, I'm going to put 2 again. And I think actually instead of negative 3, I'm going to go with 4. So it's all positives. 2, 4, 1, 2. Is the next one 4? If it is, we found our pattern basically. Uh, so 2, this is going to be... 28 plus 4, right? 32 is 28 plus 4, which means it's got a remainder of 4. You can see it's got a cycle of 3 terms as it repeats, so we need the nearest multiple of 3 to this. You will note that 2 to the 606 is a multiple of 3 because it's divisible uh, Yeah, by 606. Obviously, the sum of the terms 6 plus 6, 12, divisible by 3. So that means that your 2 to the 606 is going to be at the end right here which means it's going to be congruent to 1 mod 7. Finally, we are going to add, where are we at? We're right here. We're going to subtract 1. Oh, wait. So 2, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. We're not there yet. We have to get to 2. That's close. 2 to the 607. I'm very tired. <laughs> uh, so 2 to the 607, that's going to actually be reset back to the beginning number of 2. That's congruent to 2 mod 7. Uh, somebody mentioned I write at a slant. It's because my angle, the only way I could write straight is if I do this. And I'm blocking the board, and you can't see what's happening. And so I, you're just going to have to deal with the slightly slanted board. From my vision, it looks like it's straight, but I, I know it's not. Okay, so 2 to the 607 is congruent to 2. And then when you subtract 1, that would then be congruent to, so 2 to the 607 minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod 7. And so because it's congruent to 1 mod 7, it is not divisible by 7. 3, 5, and 7 all fail. Our answer choice, C. Let's go ahead and get another one done.